Hey, how's it going, Old School RuneScape, and welcome back to another weekly recap. And we kicked off this week with a new dev blog on the Winter Todd, but we specifically touched on the rewards, offering items like the Pyromancer outfit for increased firemaking experience when worn, the Tome of Fire, a book that gives offensive and defensive magic bonus, unlimited fire runes, and a 50% damage buff to fire spells. And that's just the beginning of this pull. Up next, we have the Superior Slayer Encounters idea. This was brought up on a Q&A not too long ago, and we're ready to offer you something like this in-game. Superior Slayer Encounters are higher level versions of your Slayer task, which occasionally appear as your slaying. They're much more tough, but also offer much better rewards. Up next, we're also pulling Blast Furnace NPCs. These dwarves would help with running the minigame at a very small cost, and this idea has picked up a lot of support and should make the minigame much smoother overall. There are tons of other questions on this week's poll, so be sure to give it a look if you haven't already, and vote with the in-game poll booths. Moving on to this week's updates, and the changes made to Last Man Standing. As several changes came into play to improve the new minigame, including removing stepping stones with a bridge, increasing the duration of the PJ timer, moving loot crates outside of the fog, disabling trading, buffing magic, and adding an entrance to the west side of the Trinity Outpost. It's likely we'll have a little bit more fine-tuning to come next week as well, but overall players are very pleased with these changes and we're seeing a lot of you fall in love with this new minigame. Up next, in addition to the Elder Chaos Druid robes, we've added the hood to match the set. A new option to fill up your bank with empty slots has been added to make organizing your bank all the more convenient. An activity bar has been added to the Fishing Trawler minigame, and players who are not contributing to the trawler trip will be removed from the minigame. Moving on to this week's Q&A, where Mod Ash demoed the new soon-to-come construction updates. Hello. <laughs> well, that was a camera point, Gabby. What do you think I was going to do? Anyway, so um, for um, the construction updates, we've got two new rooms coming up. And with new rooms coming up, especially one with a teleport destination in it, the Spirit Tree and Fairy Ring room, we wanted to give you the option of rearranging your house so that you could put the teleport thing somewhere convenient for you. So, um, what we have in here is a new button, um, and it opens the house viewer menu. And finally, we have the player spotlight feature. Beginning with an influx of dank Arthur memes, similar to this one from Short Dude. Up next, Fizzmaster Cola captioned this image, finally achieved my dream outfit. We think it's beautiful. And lastly, Jared took the time to recreate the Lumbridge Castle in Sims 3. So that about sums up this week in Old School RuneScape. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with the game, and aside from that, we'll thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next week.